Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to make your logo and favicon in Photoshop. Now the process is quite simple. To start we're going to go to File, New, and then we're going to set the width to 1080 and the height to 1080, and then make sure you select pixels, and then hit Create. Now the logo I'm trying to make is actually going to be very simple. Um, I tend to keep most of my logos very simple and minimalistic. So this one will just include some font and some nice colors. So the name of the store is Mr. Neck. Now you can't see the color right now because it's set to white and the background is white. So we're going to change that by dragging it over to a different color. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is going to go over to the mouse tool. And then we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm liking the font here, um, let's just double check what the font is. It's Open Sans Extra Bold for those of you guys that want to know. And I want to actually make a slight color gradient. I want to make this a dark green and this a slightly lighter green to kind of give it that medical feel. So the green I'm going to use is actually going to be the green that I'm going to use on the entire website. So I'll take this green color, go back here. I'll change the word Mr. to the green that I want. Just paste in the color ID, hit OK. So now that's a, that's a darker green, and actually I don't like this green either, so I'm going to change that into a slightly different green. Maybe one that looks like, yeah, one that's not too different from the original one. So maybe around, around here. Okay, that's perfect. So now I think that's about it for the logo here. We can center align it. But for us to use this logo on the actual website, you have to crop it out. And make sure that there's not all this background space. So in order to do that, we're going to click on the move tool again. We're going to go to the, to the logo. We're going to drag it up to the top left corner right here. Just a little bit towards the top with a little bit of space. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the crop tool right here. And we're going to actually crop this entire window. And we're going to crop the sides to enter. Now there you go, you got the logo finished. And now I want to center align it in the background. So grab your original layer, hold control or command on Mac. Grab both layers, then go to the top, click on the center line, and click on the horizontal line right here. And now as you can see the logo is perfectly centered. Now the last thing you have to do is you have to hide the background layer right here. Because if you don't hide the background layer, there's going to be a white background on all the logo placements that you do. So hide the background. Now the logo is in a transparent layer, so no matter what background you place it, um, it's going to look very clean. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to save it. So we're going to click on File, Save As. And let's go into Mr. Neck. And we're going to save this as Logo Homepage. Now we'll make sure when you're saving it to save it as a PNG. Um, this is to ensure that it's a transparent layer. Um, if you save it as a JPEG, it's not going to be transparent. So make sure you save it as a PNG. Now click on Save. Okay, all right, so now there you have it. The logo is complete. So the next thing we're going to make is actually the favicon. So go to File, go into New, and we're going to set the same width, the same height. Click on Create. And my idea for the favicon is I'm just going to take the word M and, and, neck and uh, N, and I'll just place them into one circle. So let's type in MN like this. Let's increase the size a bit. We'll drag it into the middle right here. And that could actually be good enough for the favicon. Um, this is just a tiny little icon that shows up in your browser window. Um, for example, when you open up Shopify, you see a little Shopify icon on the top of your browser window. Um, this is going to replace that icon. Um, we could do one more thing to it. I think we could add a little circle. So click on the ellipse tool. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna drag a quick circle. Now you have to hold shift to make sure it's a symmetrical circle. So let's make a big circle like that. 
And we'll make sure it's centered aligned perfectly. All right. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on fill and I'm going to reduce that to 0%. That's going to basically hide my circle. Now right click on this layer, go into blending options, click on stroke, and then make the size of the stroke maybe a little bit bigger, easy to see. So maybe about this big, 38. Now we're going to change that color to green. Hit OK, hit OK. And I think this, uh, maybe this is a little big. We can make it a little bit smaller. That should do. Make sure it's perfectly center aligned. Perfect. And there you have it for the Favicon. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to say it's the best, but it only took us about a minute to make. And it's definitely going to work. So don't think about the graphic assets too hard. That's not where most of the conversions are going to come from. Most of the conversions will be coming from the actual ad creative and the copy on the store and the product pricing. And not as much on the logo and the favicon. Alright, so that's it for this video guys. I'll see you guys in the next module.